Pershing Square Capital Management is an American hedge fund management company founded and run by Bill Ackman located at 888 7th Avenue in New York. Company history, in 2004, with $54 million in funding from his personal funds and from his former business partner Leucadia National, Ackman started Pershing Square Capital Management. Ackman is known to occasionally hire people outside of traditional finance backgrounds. For instance, his professionals have included a former fly fishing guide, a former tennis pro and a man whom he met in a cab. Investment history, Pershing has in its history launched activist campaigns against McDonald's and Wendy's. In 2005, Pershing bought a significant share in fast food chain Wendy's International and successfully pressured them to sell its Tim Hortons donut chain. Wendy's spun off the Canadian restaurant donut chain through an IPO in 2006 and raised $670 million for Wendy's investors. After Ackman sold his shares at a substantial profit after a dispute over executive succession, the stock price collapsed, raising criticism that the sale of Wendy's fastest-growing unit left the company in a weaker market position. Ackman blamed the poor performance on their new CEO. In December 2007, his funds owned a 10% stake in Target Corporation, valued at $4.2 billion through the purchase of stock and derivatives. His funds now own a 7.8% stake. In December 2010, his funds held a 38% stake in Borders Group and on December 6, 2010, Ackman indicated he would finance a buyout of Barnes & Noble for $900 million U.S. million. On January 9, 2009, the fund disclosed a 7.4% ownership stake in general growth properties according to documents filed with the SEC, becoming the second largest shareholder behind Brookfield Asset Management. The fund was betting on the company to go bankrupt in a way that would leave its shareholders intact. In November 2010, Pershing Square helped the company emerge from Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. As of August 2012 the fund holds beneficial ownership of 7.7% of general growth stock. In 2010, Pershing Square reported having taken large ownership stakes in J.C. Penney and Canadian Pacific Railway. In July 2012, Ackman acknowledged to CNBC that he had acquired shares in Procter & Gamble worth approximately $1.8 billion, a 1% stake in the company with the idea of taking an activist role within the corporation. Pershing Square later reduced its stake in Procter & Gamble, which was valued at around $60 million by the end of 2013. Equals Herbal if equals. In December 2012, Ackman announced that the firm had made a $1 billion short bet against Herbal if, a maker of weight loss and vitamin supplements, calling the company a pyramid scheme. After activist billionaire investor Carl Icahn bought a stake in the company in January 2013, the share price rose nearly 13% and the investment was seen by analysts as the worst investment ever made by the firm. After a persistent political and grassroots campaign funded by Ackman and the firm, the Federal Trade Commission initiated a civil investigation into Herbalif, causing its stock to drop enough that by March 2014 Pershing Square was nearly even on their bet. In April 2014, Reuters reported that, according to its sources, the FBI is conducting a probe into Herbalif. Agents are also reviewing documents obtained from the company's former distributors. Equals Platform Speciality Products Corporation Equals, as of June 2014, Pershing Square is the largest institutional holder of the shares of Platform Speciality Products Corporation, owning a 24.28% stake. Pershing first disclosed the position in January 2014, shortly after Platform debuted on the New York Stock Exchange. Subsequently, in April 2014, Platform announced a deal to acquire the agrochemicals business of Chemtra for approximately $1 billion. Agrifor, another agricultural speciality chemicals company, agreed in August 2014 to become the third company to join the Platform umbrella. In April 2014, Ackman singled out platform speciality products in the Outsider presentation which discusses optimal methods of capital allocation. References External links, Pershing Square Challenge, Ackman's Pershing Square Takes Big Stakes and Freddy, Fanny, 
Ackman's Pershing Square takes $1.2 billion hit. 